Okay. Uh, all right. So let's continue. That. Uh, what's marked here? I didn't get that. All right. So those are all done. Yeah. So let's see. Let's start with the Porsche. Rocking carriage. Masut, known as the Phantom Time Master, is at the Subzero's Festival, recommending his new game to guests. Go to quest. Oh, I think it's everything around here. Ah, oh, it's like the one we, we had there. Hi, my greetings to you, dear traveler from afar, and to your little friend. Have you been enjoying some Zero's Festival? If you're both interested, I, the Phantom Time Master, shall be pleased to invite you to play a new game, the Rocking Carriage, a flower that blooms only during the festival. Uh, and what's that? Just hearing the name, I was gonna imagine that Hida happily swaying from side to side in her carriage. Even I'm getting all glad um, over here. Just hearing you say that makes me want to watch Nahida that, do that too. Wonderful. Well, in Sumeru wish that the Dendro Archon shall be happy every day, after all. That association you made, uh, what an excellent scene. One that deserves to be rated upon a magnificent scroll, if I do say so myself. Still, uh, the atmosphere of this game is a, a livelier thing. Thing, rather than a celebration, it's best thought of as an adventure. Smart or not, nice or naughty, every child with a good heart will receive their own flower carriage during the Subdurus Festival celebrations. Riding their carriage, the children shall embark on unique adventures, encountering and overcoming danger and finding the greatest treasure, a thousand blooming flowers. I was both smart and nice. We're calling her a child now. Trust me, we were danger overcoming pros. So let's go about Paimon. That's right. And as for the treasure, it may as well be ours already. <laughs> good, good. In that case, play all, play to your heart's content. Yeah, that. Uh, the first emotion, change the road. Care to lose each PP and obstacles. It's a clear. Yeah, the same as there. Okay. from far. Uh, how has your rocking carriage experience been? I got some suggestions. Do tell, do tell, I'm listening. Ah, the carriage moves a little slowly. We aren't sure enough. There's no combat during the drive. Uh, well, yeah. Nasty, you're quite a speedrun enthusiast. Uh, must be the sensory stimulation, huh? Last year, the working carriage is intended for the general public's enjoyment. I suspect that many children, ladies, and other other folks may lack your alacrity. I could try developing, say, a great air might elaborate escape for you, featuring greatly acceler accelerated gameplay. I'm sure if, uh, that will not fail to satisfy. Touch of goodness from the Let's see the others. We weren't challenged enough. I don't know. I see, so you're not so the start who prefers the challenge. Then the harder the challenge, the more you enjoy overcoming it. I should say that the rocking carriage is a leisurely festive game, and many tourists prefer simple rest at the same time. After all, most people don't spend much time studying a game they just encountered. Making things too complicated risks scaring potential players off. But what I could do for you is try developing a Forest Rangers a Great Fungus Adventure with additional obstacles of all sorts, and with some moving puzzles. I'm sure that will satisfy your desires. Um, there was no combat in the drive. Ah, oh, sir, the type who prefers to overcome mighty foes in your adventures. Alas, if we incorporated combat elements into the game, the focus would shift from driving the flower carriage to the larger experience of shooting from a moving vehicle. 
Some prefer that simple driving experience, others prefer vehicle combat. Both understandable positions. I can attempt to design, say, the General Mahamatra Swift Pursuit, which will focus on running battles and intercepting foes. I'm sure that would be better meet your expectations. Uh, Phantom Time Master is quite a title. Really? Thank you for the compliment. I'm quite fond of it myself. Inherited it from my grandmother, in fact. Whenever I hear the name, it reminds me of my childhood goal to make toys that make everyone happy. Uh, just thinking about it fills the, these old bones with boundless vitality. Your grandmother, you say? Yes, a long, long time ago, Granny visited a mysterious domain by accident where she made some strange friends and gained a nearly boundless photo of inspiration. Uh, she met an Arnara. Upon returning to Sumeru, she began to develop all manner of unique toys. Ah no, the, the city in the bottle. Shame though that she was ever focused on making the most extravagant complex mode, game modes. She rarely considered if, if children could take it at all take it all in or pay much attention to market conditions. My objective assessment is that her work only received recognition from a limited number of customers, and despite her good reputation, her works weren't able to bring that simple happiness to a large audience at the time. Take it all in, you say? So what were those? Take it all in? Simply put, Children of all ages buy toys, and they all learn at different speeds, so you can generalize about their ability to get up a get up to speed on something new. Some toys are too complex, and some games have too many rules. Even things might struggle to memorize everything in a short time, and children will struggle with all the more. Rainy was far too enthusiastic about her work and neglected this which negatively impacted her sales. I wouldn't say it was her fault or that of the children, they just weren't really well suited for one another. Had Granny switched to targeting her toys at the adult market, I imagine the things would have gone differently. I don't really remember why that was in that town. In the, it was in a town. Uh, Good mother. What well, were those market conditions? Uh, isn't there a complex question? To be honest, I've read many fine texts from many scholars, but I still don't know how to evaluate it. Simply put, more exquisite and ingenious toys require more investment, which will increase the price, just as clockwork toys cannot be sold for the same price as origami models. But neither Granny nor I figure out how much the price should be raised, how much more does everyone have in their purses, how much are they willing to pay for, them, for toys, that's something that only they know. Customers feelings are also key, if they are interested in one of our, your toys, some of them will be willing to spend a bit more, but if you don't catch their eye, they'll wait to get it on sale, there's no objective standard. Granny made the error, and though she tried to lower her prices as much as possible, she still ended up running into a wall many times as a result. As such, I intend to do my best to strive to a balance between quality, production costs, and price. All in all, I've been quite happy these last few decades, and I have her to thank for it. She designed and bought more toys than I could ever finish playing with. When she was still with us, we play with them together whenever she could find the time. Uh, right, enough dwelling in the past. Uh, anyway, I'll do my best to spread this joy as to as many people as possible. Okay, let's play it. Fair enough, rock to rhythm of the carriage. Uh, okay, they will lock up the boots.
Oh no, I seriously. Yeah, let's go again because I screwed up just that one. No, come on, pay attention. This is supposed to be easy, come on. Losing health, I lose points as well, or no? There's no platinum here. I don't usually care, but this one was easy enough, so I, I thought we'll get it. Uh, was a magical collect nearby flowers for time after you collect the clustered blessing. Hmm. Uh, there may be times I need to get get that. Uh, I was thinking more about flowers uh, trapped behind vases. I haven't hit anything yet, but I don't think it's always very clear if we're going to hit something or not. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, flowers obtain green bonus points or become immune and should negative effects, collisions, and obstacles for some time after getting the butt resting blessing. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if it's the size of the carriage or the space between gaps that isn't always very clear. Uh, 
but I'm not sure, really sure what could be done for that. What do I get a point for crashing? That's a new song. No! Ah! Ah, no! That's my single screw up, I'll go again. Although, I won't get anything for going again. There could be some perfect written somewhere, just to be more sure. The stage for carriage will continue to accelerate up to top speed if it hits no obstacles for a while. Okay. Uh, ah, I'm already beginning. Let's see. If... Okay, I don't lose points. So. If I want to decelerate, I can just spend some health. a bit suddenly more uh, more sudden sunder than I expected oh yeah I didn't think I would keep that the way I was I turned. go again. Yeah, this seems quite round number. Okay. 
the thing messed with the, my vision for a while, but I don't think I missed anything because of that. Nor did speed. Or health. I didn't, I didn't actually pay attention to my health there. Uh, the stage, a gorgeous, lovely, endless journey is an endless cyclical stage. Flowers. Uh, the flower carriage keep proceeding onward, facing speeder, tougher challenge, you can... Okay, let's... You increase speed, endlessly. Uh, it feels like you reach a plateau of difficulty. I'll stop. But if it gets harder and harder, then... Uh, then I'll... I'll just keep going until I miss. Oh yeah, but that seems tougher. Yeah, it said it's cyclical, so it's not randomly generated, right? Oh, see, that's that felt like a two type spot for the carriage to fit in. Yeah, it seems like it's getting faster and faster. Oh, I miss one. I don't think it's actually cyclical. I think it's uh, a bit randomly generated. Maybe it's another one. I don't think it's going faster than that. Uh, I'll probably screw up some more times if I keep going indefinitely, but I think I'll just. I think I'll lose. There. That's alright. Uh, okay, that's it. You don't have anything in your door, you.
Uh, no. Let's see what what should be the next. Let's go here. Mapping dreams in reality, certain immortal researcher is looking for volunteers for her psychotherapy experiment. Excuse me, are you Ignus by any chance? That's me. What can I do for you? Uh, good, good thing I didn't get the wrong person. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Dharma Kirti, a uh, duster from Amurta. Uh, we've heard of you, of course, but in truth, we don't know much about you. But we've been doing research on dreamscapes lately, and the Dranger Arco informed us that you were the most cool headed person she's ever seen in this distinguishing dreams from reality. Uh, she flatters me. Nay, hey, don't be so modest. Anyway, that's precisely what our project is about, and our data indicates that people struggle to cons consciously wake up after falling asleep. We intend to utilize the psychological influence that dreams have on people to help regulate various psychological disorders. Specifically, we will use targeted environmental hints and guidance based on each patient's individual situation to create a suitable dreamscape for them. The technology to enter shared dreamscapes is still rather new and advancements are mainly thanks to the many improvements made by the dental archon. Simply put, our goal is to address patients' psychological problems by adjusting their cognitive uh, states within dreamscapes. That seems complicated. Alright, sorry, I couldn't help rambling on about our project a bit. It is quite complicated, yes. Simply put, we are conducting a medical research on the psychological effects of dreams. But we've got a bit stuck when it comes to practical implementation. Yes, so need my help. How are we calculating my payment? No, what the hell. I uh, got in one go. Huh. This is embarrassing. None of our project members have any experience maintaining awareness within a dreamscape, so that left us all feeling really depressed. But now that we know people like you exist, hope has been rekindled. We also have our Archon to thank for this. She has she not heard our report and suggested we discuss things with you. I'm afraid the pro our project would have had to be abandoned, never to be completed. I have faith that if this psychotherapy is popularized, then we'll be able to significantly reduce the rate of mental disorders in the academia's annual statistics. So from what you what you just what you said just before, can I assume you are willing to help? Sure thing. Great, I'll organize the patient files right away. Come find me whenever you're free. The experimental process works like this, you just need to relax and enter the dreamscape together with the patient, let's have the battle. Next, when you are inside the dreamscape, you just need to follow the instructions given in the file to find the anomalous aspects related to the patient in question. Correct them, live the dream, and that's it, that's that. We've also prepared emergency measures to get you out of the dreamscape if needed. The safety of our volunteers and patients is far more important than the success of any experiment. Every patient has unique circumstances and must be handled carefully. Well then, come find me whenever you're free. Understood? Thanks for your generosity, see you later. That seems interesting and complicated, but I think it would be something kind of simpler. Uh, there is an inter-reflection of reality and dreams. Game mode, you have to enter a new escape of patients, find the anomalies in said dreams and correct them to assist the patients with their mental well-being. You will find specific items in their dreamscapes based on their descriptions, use the special skill catch and correct on them to deal with the corresponding anomalies. 
you can speak to the patients in their dreamscapes and learn what ails them in the in more detail at the same time if you do not find any anomalies within a certain time the patients will give you subconscious heats those the patients ah oh, there's a lot of people can i talk to everybody from here no uh higush tetsuya i must do whatever it takes to finish tales of 100 yokai yokai i promised my readers, I would. On um, my dignity as a yokai novel writer, no less. I've, uh, but I've told tales about Tango, and I've talked about of Bakadanuk. How the heck will I get 100 different types? Yokai are what I need, and fresh ones, new ones. Collingwood. Uh, sober up, not gonna happen. Drinking too much may hurt my liver, but drinking too little wounds my heart. Uh, it's dirty, but no drinking just ain't an op option. Nitesh. Uh, this lab's so messy, if only I had an assistant to help me. Uh, and, and it's not like I'm getting any younger. Should I just retire back to Samara in two years or something? I mean, I can't stay here, can I? Aren't you in Samara? Or I mean, Samara City. Yeah, uh, Yoguan? I've never been this frightened of doing guard work in my life. It's not like I want to tremble like this, but my legs just won't listen. Oh, please, Lord Geo, save me, please. Okay, and the last guy. Uh, everything must be arranged in some, some order, that's just one of my principles of design. All inhuman asymmetrical architecture designs must be destroyed. Destroyed with prejudice. There are animals that are asymmetrical and you just destroyed them. Okay, uh, thanks for assistance. Any trial of great importance uh, is of great importance, so let me know once you're ready. Okay, I don't have a lot to talk to you, just them. I'm ready. Okay, ah, I can choose them. Okay, I better reach here. Uh, the more I look at the sign, the stranger it seems. Uh, it looks like the chairs and ornaments are a bit different from normal, like they are upside down. Collingwood, who struggles to stop drinking liquor, is suddenly troubled by strange dreams in which many common items are upside down. Find upside down items and write them and perhaps you'll poof. Um, it didn't have to be from the Adventurers Guild. There are two guys from Sumeru here. And I think there could be an adventure in animal status as separate people. Hey there, are you the one who's assisting me in the dreamscape therapy? I thought people, most people didn't realize they were in the dream. To be honest, I don't know what my dream's going to be about. I'm from Mondstadt, so I don't really have, and I don't really have any hobbies, you know, except drinking. And I'm the type to mess up sometimes when I get sloshed, so I'm counting on you. Okay, let's see the main thing that was in the instructions. How do I... Uh, I didn't write that, I just just finished. It's much easier than I, but there's still a few that are upside down. Yeah. Up here as well. That's more like it, sure was a mess, but at least it's better now. Uh, what would Angel share with on me? But did I fix him? Oh, demons, great divine beings and honored adepti. Uh, please shower us with your mercy. Uh, do not hide in objects flowing to and fro. 
Please show yourselves before the fright. Young one, guard for hire, often feels that there are monsters lurking objects around and cannot rest easy. Find the strange floating objects and perhaps her subconscious anxiety will in fear will be put to rest. Oh, hey. Actually, I think we're missing... Ah, no, no. There is someone for Inazuma. Oh, no, the guy from the laboratory is from Fontaine. Pleasure to meet you. We're about to enter Dreamscape together, really. I'm Yohan, a guy from Liyue. I'm touch I touched something unclean while at work recently. And I haven't had a good night's sleep since. That's why I sought help. If I can dispel my nightmares through this Dreamscape therapy, that would truly be amazing. I should just hang out for a while. With the uh, Shogun, yeah, that should do it. The red demon's hiding has plumpage, however, I can still feel serious present. There must be blah blah blah. Come on, why do I need a cooldown here? Ah, okay, so I just don't go around clicking all the time. Yeah, makes sense. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, I didn't see that. Objects, please. No, I know there are in objects. I'm just not seeing the other floating objects. Ah! No, oh, wow, really, I didn't see the light. I was looking all around the ground. And it is that right in front of me, shining like that. This must be a blessing from some illuminated being. Thank you all for having mercy on a lowly guard such as myself. I'll be leaving for my next job now. Where are all our Inazuma and Yokai hiding? Come on out, show your faces. A light novel author, Higuchi Tetsuya, is looking for inspiration and hopes to meet Yokai face to face and get a good look at them. Finding Yokai wearing unusual masks may be enough to satisfy his subconscious desire. I mean, it isn't that hard to meet Yokai. Nice to meet you, Higuchi Tetsu is the name, a yokai novel writer for from Inazuma. I've been under lots of pressure lately, so I'll try anything, do it, do whatever it takes to get back on my feet. By the way, my dreamscape might have a rather personalized, personalized look, considering that it's a world of my making, with all the issues that entails. Apologies in advance for any strange things you might see.
Oh, the Yoka hiding corners have come out. I just read all of them. Mostly around. Found them. I got it now. Quick, give me a pen. It's time to write. Uh, well, I never. Each piece of lab equipment is more disobedient than the last. Hey, I don't care how much energy you have, stop messing around and behave yourselves. The, in the dream of the researcher, uh, Itesh, his lab equipment tends to move around on its own, disrupting all his plans. Finding the most mis mischievous of his instruments may quite the troubles in his mind. Oh well. Oh, so the qualified volunteer for the dreamscape experiments is one so young. My aren't young people impressive nowadays? I call me Nitesh. I am traveling spending my scholar, presently working long term in Fountain. We older folks tend to come by all manner of problems more easily. I'm calling on you to help me get to the heart of things, young sir. They find what? The objects that float around. Find the objects that can float around quietly. Uh-oh. This. Super neater, but a few more pieces of... I think I'm missing something over here. Oh no, that was just the one. Okay. Now it's finally speaking span and everything is in place. All nice and tidy. I uh, feel good just looking at it. I can't take it anymore. Why didn't you follow the design? Street lamps, floor lamps, chairs. Nothing here even spares the slightest inkling of thought for symmetry. The architect's Piyush's extremely ex acting requirements for symmetrical aesthetics have grown into a deep source of anxiety, heavily influencing his subconscious. Find objects in the dreamscape that don't match the principles of symmetry help ease his anxiety. Won't I be indulging his symmetry obsession? Uh, so you're the fine brain of Dharma Kirtis that Dharma Kirtis introduced. Piyush, pleased to meet you. I work in architecture. I heard Kave mention your name before, but I haven't had any, the chance to say hello yet. So this is a happy coincidence. I'm guessing I'll dream about a project I just submitted. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare. It's just a shame we had to first meet in such a formal fashion. Oh well.
find asymmetric objects like using what is that like that by itself no can't take it anymore why did you follow the sign in full fountains I mean that I'm not fully sure what he means by that because ah uh, okay just pieces that are together that's not asymmetric okay you just mean actually double items <gasps> there was one here excellent Oh, but they're not. And their lamps, they're supposed to be doubled as well. <gasps> I mean, I thought false lamps. Double check what? Oh, what's wrong here? Okay, but what is wrong with this one? Ah, because I was one to one side and not the other. Ah. But that, there's nothing really wrong with that. Okay, this one. What's wrong with that? Th this last one, okay, it wasn't in the like a good spot, but I didn't thought I had to take all those for no reason. I I didn't get what they're thinking about as symmetry here. Yes, yes, this represents the symmetry of divinity and harmony. Such wondrous symmetry, the construction is most perfect. I can finally rest easy. Yeah, I didn't quite get what. What do you mean by symmetry? Somehow. Um, that was one for each. Anything to say? Thanks, uh, no. We're good. Uh, let me talk to everybody. And then we just frighten, same thing. Okay, so I didn't fix anything. Uh. Okay, I'm not sure. Shadow of the Knight's Blade. Probably of battle. Uh, Vihar. The researchers Saf and the researcher Safi are currently preparing for a special event that will tell the tale of the unknown blades, unknown battles of the Night of Flowers. Hmm? There's a purple thing here. Book collector. Are you always here? Hey, I can I make a wish to let your lark for some more valuable books to add to my collection? Ever since I lost that batch of literary treasure, treasures, my luck's been awful. Every book that's even slightly valuable gets reserved by the Academia first. They even take all the worthless ones. What's that you say? I should just get a job in the House of Dina? Actually, don't tell me. Let me think it over. Do they hire foreigners there? Okay, he just seems a bit out of place here, so... Mm, the question is with him. Okay, but I think it will be together. Uh, the color and intensity of the lightning are perfectly calibrated. And the special effects are simply spectacular. It wouldn't be exa an exaggeration to name this effect 
chum perfection. Amazing Safi, if it's all thanks to you that we were able to see the Knight of Flowers in all his glory, just like in the Legends. That's a new kind of outfit, isn't it? Uh, oh, fish posh. I can't take out the crack myself now, can I? Just think of all the work you did. It was far more exhausting than the papers I pushed around. The most important thing now is the candidate we choose to play the Knight of Flowers. The performer must possess extraordinary skill with an aura that can compare to the legend of to the legendary fairies himself. Mm, those requirements seems, seem to be a bit steep, don't they? Hey there, what you talking about? Seems like you've got a problem, and I'm your solution. Lining, special effects, are you guys worried about putting on a show? They have appeared, the one and only, the illustrious hero without equal, the supreme candidate to play the Knight of Flowers. No, what should I say is that what I should say is that you yourself fully deserve the title of Knight of Flowers. No answer is attached. Uh, are we kind of officially uh, the Knight of Flowers now, like we are on the Knights and stuff? Yeah, this one's this is one exciting scholar. He's actually up the second he saw you, Venus. Oh my, that is a little much. News to my ears. Keep the compliments coming, would you? Uh, it is an honor to see you once more, Mr. Ings. We know each other. Ah, that you're the guy that played in the first uh, Sub Zeros. Uh, this is a flo folklorist from uh, Bahumana Safi. He's been taking advantage of the sub Festival Fever to plan a film based on various historical documents in folklore, using the latest Fontaine technology. The film focused on the unknown battles of the Knight of Flowers. It revolves around the knight descended into mystery, mysterious and prof profoundly perilous places on the Dendro Arco's behalf, slaying many evils. Just for it right there, if no can guess where this is going, you don't have any actors who can fight, so you can't shoot the fight scenes. Stric strictly speaking, where acting in regular scenes or fighting fight scenes, there is no performer more suitable than Mr. Ignus. Should you be willing to perform, this film will surely become the single greatest cinema cinematographic work regarding the Night of Flowers. You already have a few? and we will earn substantial revenue from the, its theater run. Naturally, both of you will be equally, uh, adequately compensated. <laughs> With Ignis looks, he deserves to be the star. Since the sub festival is kind of a vacation for us, we aren't that busy, we should have time to help shoot a few scenes. What do you think? I'm no actor, but I'm the best at kicking butt. Fight scenes are really easy, I can give the other scenes a shot too. That you are willing to join our projects is really amazing, words cannot express how grateful we are to you. However, the fight scenes are filmed independently from the rest, and we will need to schedule those separately. Once you're ready, I'll have to call you back in again. Time waits for no one. If you're ready, Mr. Angus, shall we begin immediately? Alrighty, it's, it's acting time for Angus' future as a movie star and for the Night of Flowers heroic legend. During Shadow of the Night's Blade, defeat as many enemies as possible within the time limits to obtain the highest possible score. You may claim the rewards corresponding to the highest score obtained in the stage. Defeat opponents or use specific uh, showstopper moves to accumulate scenic performance. Once you gain a certain amount of scenic performance, you can increase your performance level, granting you more powerful buffs. Huh? What could the yeah. Honorable uh, Knight of Flowers, is there any way we might be of service? Ah, you two are all together. All we need to do, uh, all we need to do for each fight scene is follow the basic theme of each scene. As the actual moves will be undertaken by a professional such as yourself, you need to follow our original ideas. 
I haven't met you before, Mihar. Uh, I am truly honored that you still remember me. In Sub-Zero's festival, fest, the single one between two, and apparently there was none last year, I played a carriage less uh, Nights of Flowers a few times, mostly handing out candies to, ch to the children. And now there's an eminently more suitable Night of Flowers, and I and so I can play the role for which I am naturally suited, that of the Knight of Candies. I think it works out quite well, uh, kids really like the title, and the image of you passing out candy after, year after year has made a deep impression on everyone. Then after the movie premieres, uh, can I get the title of Knight of Cinema or something? You will be credited as the director and I as the producer. It would be hard to say which of us would be the Knight of Cinema. About the film in progress, as you can see, we've only just begun. As the thematic focus on, on the film is battles, we have decided to film those scenes first, and then, based on what we can realistically achieve, decide on how we wish to express ourselves through the shots, lining, color palette, style, and other elements. Then we'll use this to determine the details of the script so that we can avoid that can be done and we can make the shot work as much as possible. Uh, that's why we'll wait for the fight scenes to be filmed, edited and post-processed before we film the rest. It will likely take quite some time. Now that's a clever approach. Now that's a very conservative approach. Not at all, it's just a trick I learned during my last 30 trip to Fontaine. We still have a lot of room for improvement. Okay, so then I'll be happy to shoot some more. Uh, please feel free to show off your incredible talent to the its fullest. The cameras hidden around the venue will capture your majestic and valiant form. Our set design draws inspiration from dangerous domains in adventure legends. Who knows, it might even inspire you with combat. Oh, what a mix. Okay, multiplier. They're different. They say that a florist drew, every, drew the basics every day, familiarizing himself with the properties of every element. If one hones simple techniques to perfection, the, any enemy can dealt with, no matter how tricky. Uh, I thought I would use the Traveler. <coughs> uh, show stop or move. When characters trigger re the Vaporize reaction on opponents, they will get additional sync performance to, with which to increase performance level. This can be triggered once every one second. Performance system will perform is level 1 to 3 respectively. All party members match max HP, doesn't matter. Elemental Mastery. No, uh, what you see? The tricks for uprising is opponents on each night wave at the character's position, and true damage to nearby opponents. The one can be produced every. Okay, so vaporize. And on her, she's nice. Let's see, vaporize. Vaporize. Water. Uh -huh. What can I use for more constant fire? Constant fire, yep, that's how it is. And then I suppose him. Basically, just keep causing bad price. Uh, let's see here, here, yeah. Adorn my knights! Huh! 
destroy this. I'm Oh, I didn't even use her. Here. As one with wind and cloud. Bow your head. The tides beckon. Uh, how many points I need? Nice and spicy. Wind strike. Your toast. Silence. Clouds high. The birds come. Cut you. Cut. We don't want to fight. Go back. Get them. Let's get down to business. The wind knows me. Out of the frying pan. Into the fire. Settle down. Uh, I don't know how many points I needed. Okay, I got gold. Uh, uh here, let's check. Five thousand for everyone. Okay, five thousand. Uh, technique will not only is not the only critical skill. So choose fighting will the main story that the flower stands alone against vast hordes of foes, yet maintains a perfectly impenetrable defense, holding out the determination until victory is achieved. So, shield. Increase the element skills. They will gain additional static performance, increase performance level, uh, increase defense, and perform uh, skill. So basically, it's just to use elemental skill quickly. He has quite a bit much of elemental skill. I don't see why would I need to use them. I just need somebody that does she counts this elemental skill every time that gets triggered. Uh, I mean I know it probably takes use her elemental skill as damage, but I, I don't know if it counts as a, a new elemental skill being used. Mm. Well, he charges quite fast and. Uh, yeah, she only takes a while to load. I guess she load. Yeah, she is using that as well constantly. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. They all charge somewhat fast. And two of those keep constant damage. <laughs> There's no one! No As one with wind and cloud! Silence! <laughs> the tides beckon. How about you act for it? Illusion shattered! Reconstitute! Into the wind! Settle down! Yeah. That probably doesn't count, count just Shine down. the first burst that he uses. The second count. Wind strike. There is no escape. Let's take now. Come on. Settle down. Be sanctified. Shine down. Silence. Oh, the part was in the road. Secure. Let's 
Reconstitute! Reconstitute! Settle down! The tide is beckoning. All the time. Illusion shattered! Cut! Extract! Bow your head! Wind strike! This will brighten up the oh, place! Oh, come on! Do it! Be sanctified! So close! Silence! Ooh! Did... Did... It... Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Uh, you must master the best of the wild grass that grows in, in the vines that climb, as well as the strength and stability of stone with both pliability and power. In some works, when faced with powerful adaptable foes, the nine flowers would make use of flexible and magnificent strategies to crack their defenses open before delivering a formidable dead end blow. Okay, I need some Geo and Kazuha again to use one against the other. Okay, that works. And I guess him. I like him here. Mm. Oh, I didn't read the thing. Uh, is it here? No. It is here. Uh, when triggers crystallize on openings, you gain additional thing. We don't get that. My character is not this. Okay, I'll get more, more, more crystallize. One with nature. Yeah, All but I can like, put that for you back as well. Solidify! <laughs> Let the mountain's veins boil! Fire! Well, <laughs> with rocks. Watch out! Watch out! Yeah, yeah. Gather! Cut! Cut! Cloud time! The birds cut! Order guide you! Cave it! <laughs> <sighs> Letting brave names echo! Oh, but it didn't get me. Solidify! Coming at you! Watch out! Yeah, yeah. Attack! Okay, against you guys, I'm not making many crystallized similar. Hear the echoes of the valley! <laughs> hey there! <laughs> hey there! Wind Strider! Stabilize! Okay, <laughs> they think this car wasn't so good. <laughs> no? Watch out! I will have order! Fallen leaves, adorn my knight! <laughs> Maybe I some elements here. Great names echo! This is order. Gather. Let the mountain's veins boil. Yeah. As one with wind and cloud. I need some. No, trying is not the same thing, is it? I think it is. Okay, I better get rid of Jean Lee and Kazuha. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sex stage. Get rid of those two. Okay, she will work for making that. But I guess that would be better. I'm not sure now. Do we get uh, crystallize with 
Uh, there's a place you can check, right? But I don't know where. Do you get crystallized with Tendro? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, but that would be nice. And oh yeah, then then I can have Kazuha around to just spread. Because if I get another thing, I'll just cancel the water by making uh, other reactions. So I will just spread water and have water crystallize with everything. Okay, I use them to build up the crystallize. Letting brave names echo. Coming at ya! Watch out! A silver send up! Fallen leaves. Adorn my and now we can hypersolize here. Let the mountain's veins boil! Yeah, yeah. Time to shine! Wind strike! Hey there! Bring it! Hear the echoes of the valley! Yoohoo! Hey there! Coming at ya! Letting brave names echo! Clouds high. The birds come. Let my name echo in song! <laughs> hey there! Fire! <laughs> oh god. That's enough. Light. Hey there! A proper send up! From the Skino, it's coming at ya! Time to shine! Fallen leaves, adorn my night! Let the mountain's veins boil! <laughs> coming at ya! Wind strike! Attack! Oh, come on! Letting brave names echo! Kill it! Come on! Uh... Was it being useful or no? Should I try that? Yeah, from everybody I have. Well, maybe her two will be the ones that can do the most constant elemental stuff. But I think she's a bit stronger right now. Stabilize. Let my name echo in song. Strike a pop. Yeah, yeah. Hear the echoes of the valley. Watch out! Watch out! This is order. Gather. Let the world collide. Watch out! Ha -ha. Attack! Letting brave names echo. <laughs> Order guide you. Coming at ya! Watch out! Hear the echoes of the valley! Yoohoo! Yeah. 
This is Ork. Solidify. <laughs> hey there! A proper sender! Watch out! Let my name echo in song! Yeah, yeah. Bring it! Letting great names echo! Watch out! Attack! I will have order. Stabilize. Strike a pose. Let the world collide. Let the mountain's veins boil. Watch out! Watch out! Solidify. Order guide. Oh, yeah. Got it. Bring it. Okay, this wall is a bit tougher. The combination of greenery and the light of flames often strongly reminds people of incredibly strong vitality. In many fairy tales, such de descriptions are used to describe the passion of the knight of flowers in pursuing his enemies, and through the liberal usage of pyro in battle, was this burning passion manifested to its fullest. So I should use Pyro, not Cryo. Limited skills. Uh, burning Burgeon against opponents of party members against skill. Okay. Alright, so. Her, that I like. She, no, no, my, I guess my is kind of decent now. I don't know if I should use him here. Because then I won't be. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it'll be conflicted which one I'll use as. Uh, let's go. Which one I'll use as the main DPS? Mm, yeah, I can always switch off of Arlequino and her skill will still be active. So that's fine. Reconstitute! Target acquired! Oh, Support acquired! Your soul is sacrificed! <laughs> this is where you fall. <laughs> I got him cornered. Extra ends here. Shadow of the past. Mind to command. A little army on the dead one. Fire it up. Transfixed. Got you covered. Lord of Sand. Your sacrifice is ready. Check this out. Witness my rise. Okay, I only go straight circle. Support and fire. Don't get too close. Target acquired. Don't go there. This will brighten up the place. Lord of sand. Extract your sacrifice is ready. This is where you fall. Come on. I got oh, corners. Check this out. I got you covered. No. Close. Okay, but I need to get you the third Drake. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Claim these souls. Here's backup. Don't get too close. Neutralize. A little obvious. Overruled. Witness 
my rise. Play the band. Fire it up. Target acquired. I got you covered. Impertinent fool. Be gone. Take it slow. Take it slow. The journey ends here. Bow before your king. Don't get too close. Retreat. None in the van. Overrule. Especially not when I'm a bad man. Measly insect. You must pay. Where? Extract. Check this out. This is where you fall. Transfixed. A little the ambience shall be punished. Here's backup! Fire it up! Lay to bear! Lord of Sand, your no sacrifice is ready. Reconstitute! Uh, too little time. And just a bit extra of damage. Should I swap somebody? For the Lord of the Night! Check this out! It's your soul! Fresh and fluid! Lay to bear! Never hold! Oh, my name is Hidden! I don't think I was hitting for a while there. This stoma, I could swap for something else. Kazuka. Yeah, they, they'll probably be burning. And also, yeah. Transfixed. 
out. Neutralize. Locked up. Wake up, my rise. Your journey ends here. Extract. The Lord of the Night. Your sacrifice is ready. Target acquired. Neutralize. This will brighten up the place. Overruled. Wind strike. Shadow of the past. Mind to command. Journey ends here. Clouds high. The birds come. Fresh and floral. Locked up. Your sacrifice is ready. Yeah. Everlasting as the moon. Transfixed. Come on. Yeah, there. Wind strike. No, no, not try again. No, that became force of habit. No, no, we're good. Less. Just as flowers bloom across the land, in fairy tales that now flowers traverses all Sumerus, swiftly cleansing the land of monsters and the wicked. Sparry, inspired by such tales, many shall result to follow in the knight's footsteps. Okay. That should be hard. Elementals. Uh, elemental burst. Ah, burst. No, it's cute. Okay. Um, very well. So he charges fast. She charges reasonably fast. Uh, he charges reasonably fast. Uh, and she just should give some sparks along the way. Everlasting as the moon! 
So, catch. Okay, nice. This one was a bit tougher, but... Yeah, we had those trial characters and all. And this was a nice combat event. You, you were given the tools to pass. Alright, so... Got all that. Wait, what? There was something here. What else? We... Oh, we got one of those. Let's keep it waiting. The Archon. But the large one? Oh, that's cool. And one more Candace because... Yeah. Yay. I was so in need of a Candace. Oh, I have a few. Staring into my All eyes right. is ill advised. Um, I can't promise you. There's stuff here. For passing those. Ah, oh, forgetting. Candace. Yeah, as well. Okay. No. I think I'm gonna skip wishes for now because I have them both. Uh, so I'm gonna say for the next one that I guess will be Malika. Uh, let's see, I saw that here. Carriage parade. It's still there? Uh, let's go across. Here. Ah, uh, stay here. How the park is here? It doesn't fit there. Uh, so it stays here so we can sit and take pictures. Just that? Just here. Do you have anything to do with what's happening there? Just look around by anything that catches your eye. As for sub special souvenirs or model floor carriage, they're currently out of stock. In response to your customer request, the caravan manager has informed me that they're making more. Please be patient. So, from what I know with them, by the time they finish, it's not like the festival will already be over. Alright. So, she is part of the festival. Uh, nobody around here. Are you here because of special too? The bar to be on guard, you can change ships now, we don't have to talk. No, it seems like you're just always here. Alright, so I guess that's it. And we're done for the event. Alright. Yeah, it would take a while for me to do them all in one city. Okay, so now I'm off.